bahagia dan boleh Rancang terkorekan To our song and motion today. Today we are going to learn a new song. Our song is Light in My Heart. Repeat after me Light in My Heart. Yes, uh, we are going to learn the song and also the motion together. So I'm going to just first uh, sing and then we learn together. Okay, children, let's start the song. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light which is spying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Love of Jesus shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus shiny bright, letting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light which is spying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Are you happy with the song? See the song good? Thank you. So I welcome you to stand up and learn the motion together with the song. Okay. We are going to sing one verse to the after the other. Okay. Welcome. Children, we are going to learn the motion together. Are you ready? Stand up. Tingle. Yes, the song and motion goes like this. In this heart of mine. So, heart, you're going to draw a big heart. And then mine, you do like this. Okay, children? And also, when it comes to the second stanza, there is love. Love of Jesus. So, love, we are going to hold one hand like this. And the other, you do only one circle. Okay? 
love of G, love, and then Jesus, when you come to Jesus, you do like, like this, and then this. Okay, this and this. Repeat after me, love Jesus, okay? And then heart, mind, okay? Let's start the motion together, okay? In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. Bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light tree whisper into my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Love of Jesus shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus shining bright, lighting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom. Bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light tree whispered into my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Now we are going to learn the motion together. It's very easy, okay? I hope we are going to enjoy. Let's start with the first stanza. In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. Repeat after me. In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. Again. In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. When it comes to darkness, you have to block your eyes so that you cannot see. Because when it is dark, there is nothing you can see, okay? Repeat the last time together. In this heart of mind, full of darkness and gloom. Now we are going to sing the second line. It says, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. So when it comes to bright, we are first to smile you should be happy because something bright is show that you are happy okay and when we are, we are going to start with the, our right hand so you raise up your hand and say bright then you trip you tringle your hand okay bright and very beautiful light came into my heart repeat Bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Again, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light which is behind to my ear. Beautiful light which is behind to my ears. When it comes to the second line, we have to say, when it comes to whisper, you have to talk in a low tone. So you have to come close to the ears, okay? So you have to hold your ears so that somebody can see you are whispering, okay? Beautiful light tree whispering to my ears. So you make sure that uh, to the ears you do like this, okay? Beautiful light tree is behind to my ears. And then when it's come to throwing, how do you throw things? You throw very far away from you. So when we are going to sing that line, we are going to sing like this. Okay, you throw your back your hand and then you try to look backward. You see when if you are thrown very far away, okay. Throw away your thought. You, yours, you have to tell who is yours, okay? Yours, you do like this. Throw away your thought and come. You have to bring your hand near your chest, okay? Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. 
So when it's come to, to, to today, you have to click your hands together and then you do one, two. Okay. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Okay. You throw and then you, you ask, you come near and then you hold your hands together tightly and then you swing two times. Okay. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Okay, now we are going to learn the second stanza. Okay, it goes like this. Love of Jesus. So you have to do like this. This is love. Okay, love. And then this is Jesus. You sing like this. Love of Jesus. You have to shine. You do your hands like this. You have to twinkle three times, okay? Love of Jesus and shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus and shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus and shining bright, lighting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light, you is flying to my eyes. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Love of Jesus, shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus, shining bright, letting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light tree is flying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Thank you how you have enjoyed and learned the motion. So children, let's to do together the song and motion. Okay, stand up, tingle. Motion ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Yes. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light which is flying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Love of Jesus, shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus, shining bright, lighting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom. Bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light tree is flying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Children, did you enjoy? Yes! Wow, thank you. Let's do it again once more, okay? Well, welcome. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light tree is flying to my ears. Throw away your thought and come and follow me today. Love of Jesus, shining always bright in my heart. Love of Jesus, shining bright, lighting up my heart. In this heart of mine, full of darkness and gloom, 
Bright and very beautiful light came into my heart. Beautiful light which is crying to my ears. Throw away your thoughts and come and follow me today. Now, let's do the music. Okay. Wow, welcome. It was so fantastic. Okay, it was so sweet and so nice. The meaning of the song is when you receive salvation, that darkness that was in your heart is goes away, and what it remains is the brightness and the love of Jesus. Okay, now I hope you let's get together with our pen, notebook, and the Bible for the next Bible stories. Okay, bye. Hello children, did you enjoy your holiday? Are you happy for your holiday? Even me, I'm so happy to meet you. Nice to meet you all children. Hello children, today come back to the Bible story. Now let's go back in John chapter 5. Let's read together. Do you have a Bible? Let's read together. John chapter 5, verse 1 up to 8. Are you ready to read together with me? Children, let's now start to read. Uh, after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and the Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which 
is called in the Hebrew stack Bethsaida, having five porches. In this day lay a great multitude of important folks of blind hearts with that waiting for the moving of water. For an angel went down and a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water step in the me step in was made whole of whosoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity that and eight years when Jesus saw him lying, and he knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, We thou be made whole. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me in the the pool, but while I am coming, another step down before me. Jesus said unto him, Raise, take up thy bed, and walk. Children, we have read about this story. When I heard about this story, I was so happy. Children, are you happy? Uh, today, I will be able to explain about this story. We can say, uh, there was a pool, and that pool called Bethsaida. And that pool, they were surrounded many people who had different situations. They were those who are lame, they who have the situation of blind. So they were surrounded that pool because they are waiting to be cured when they enter in that pool. But we can see many people, even though they were just surrounding because of the law, they were just waiting, they could not see if there is another way. The other way, we are just seeing the poor way if you can able to be heal their sickness. Uh, we can see this story is talking about our life children. He's talking about there was a man who was able to be seen by Jesus. Uh, even though many people were surrounding, they are all their focus were only to enter in that pool because they have people who can able to throw them a uh, pool. We can see that pool is the law. They are trying as much they want to enter in that pool. But uh, children, uh, the pool, it means we, uh, we, are, we don't focus in the word of God. We are just looking unto ourselves. We can see that pool is surrounded with many people. No one is looking upon Jesus. But just because of their thoughts, because they are believing, they believe when they enter in that pool, they will be able to be cured. Children, do you know do you know what happened? We can see here, even though there are many, but we can see there was a man, a man who has been ha, had infirmity for that eight years. That eight years. We can see many people that are surrounding with many different situations. There are those who are lame, there are those who are very sick, there are those who are who cannot walk well, but there was a man who was in, had in vanity for that eight years. Can you guess what happened in him? This man was hopeless. This man was, her hope, his hope was reached an end where he cannot do anything. But those who have effort, those who have, uh, who have strength, they are trying to end. But in this this man, he was have no hope in him, even to enter in that uh, pool. Uh, we can see this infirmity. Do you know what, what is the meaning of infirmity? Uh, even in our life, we have infirmity. Infirmity is sin. Infirmity is uh, sin inside our life. Children, do you, what, do you know what brought this infirmity in this man? 
children. Also, we can read also how this infirmity ended into this man. We can read Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Are you together with me, children? Are you together with me? We can read. You can see the infirm how can how infirmity ended into this man. We read in Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Let us read together. Do you have a Bible? Let us read together. Romans chapter 5. Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and there by sin, and so did pass upon all men, for that all have all, all have sin. Now we have, we can see, they see how sin ended in, in us. Uh, even though this man try, uh, try many times to solve his infirmity, did he cure himself? No. Did he try, uh, did he, uh, did he solve his treasure? No. But we can see, even as such as children, sin ended once and for all. Through who? One man. Through who? One man. See, children, do you have sin? Ah, all of us, we have infirmity. We have infirmity inside our heart. Children, even though we have this infirmity, but many times we try to solve this infirmity. We try to repent. We try to work hard to remove this infirmity. We can see like this man, he tried so many times to solve to to true solve this infirmity, but did he cure himself? No. Even us, we have sin, but many times we try. We don't know where this sin came from, but today we have known where the sin came. He came from one man. One man. Who is one man? Is Adam. Children, did you enjoy your story? Even me, I can give you my testimony. Uh, when I was young, uh, I was passing through many infirmity. But the more I tried to solve this infirmity, uh, I was sick. Even though I go to Sunday school, uh, teacher is preaching, uh, is giving us uh, preaching, uh, is giving us hope. But me, because I have this uh, infirmity inside my heart, I could not, I could not solve this problem. Even this man, he could not solve until the time he could able to meet Jesus. Even me, I have this, I was having this infirmity for many years since I was born until the time I was able to receive Jesus. Children, all of us, uh, the Bible says that we have infirmity. Infirmity is sin. Children, do you know what? Uh, this man was able to be cured. We can see Jesus is asking him the question. Can we read in a, uh, There is a question Jesus is asking him. Uh, there is a question he said, Will thou be made whole? Now Jesus is asking us. The time I was young, Jesus was asking me, Can we be thou be whole? Even Jesus asking this man, Can you be thou be made whole? This is a question towards me, towards you. Uh, if all of us, we have infirmity. All of us, we have situation. But Jesus is asking us, can you be, can you, with, without be made whole? Now, there is an answer whereby this man answered. Important, uh, the verse 7 said, the important man answered him. Important man is me and you. Sir, I have no Man. In our life, do you have a man who can solve your uh, infirmity? No, we are like this man who was able to say, to, uh, to tell Jesus, I have no man. Sure, we don't have man who can solve the, the problem of our sin. It's only Jesus who can solve our sin, who can, uh, who can solve our infirmity. Do you know what Jesus answered him? Uh, Jesus said unto him, raise, take up the bed. Children, 
we have uh, we have a problem in our life but there is the Jesus say in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have seen and come short of the glory of God children all of us we have seen and come short of the glory of God uh, many times we try to solve our problem we try to ask God to forgive but the Bible confirmed that all of us, we have what? Sin. We have come off short of glory. But in verse 24, God has given us grace. God, ha We have met who? Jesus like this man. Uh, in verse 24 it said, uh, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. When, the, when this man was able to listen that, he was justified freely. Guess what? What's, he, what's happening here? If now we are in vanity, but the word is say we are justified freely. Are you happy, children? When we are, are you justified? Like me, the time I received this word, I am justified. I am justified freely by His grace. Even as for Jesus to forgive our sin. No, it's not for our power, children. Not to ask God forgiveness. Not to ask God to do anything. But Jesus said, we are justified freely by his grace. Are you happy now? We yeah? are justified freely. Like me, I was so happy because I am justified. Aren't you? Are you justified? Are you holy? Are you washed by the blood of Jesus? Uh, like this man, he was washed. He was justified. That's why he was able to be cured. Even now, we are cured uh, through this holiness. Now I am holy. Also, uh, we have to rejoice. Even though we are sorrowful, but Jesus gives us joyful. When you are there, you can read also Second Corinthians chapter 9. Chapter 6 verse 9 and 10. Yet we are so, even this man was so sorrowful, but after meeting Jesus, after accepting the word of Jesus, he was able to rejoice. Children, when even though we have been sorrowful for many years, like this man was sorrowful for 38 years, but the moment he was able to meet, to receive the word of Jesus the way it is, he was able to rejoice. At home there, we have to rejoice when you are holy, when you are justified, when you are perfect like this man. Even me, after receiving the word of Jesus, I am holy. Children, are you holy? Like in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17, he said, in Hebrews chapter 10, as I finish, 10, verse 17, he said, and their sin and iniquity I will remember no more. Jesus is telling this man, take your bed and go. Jesus is telling that, and their sin and their sin, and, and their sin and iniquity, I will, I will remember no more. Jesus will not, will not remember our sin. And Jesus will not remember our situation. Children, for sure, God justified us all forever. Uh, I'm so thankful to all children for joining us in this class. Bye, children. Thank you.